so then after sewing using sews, metallic sews, with this corundum powder and water, mm -hmm. you obtain the rough shape of your object. Okay. Then, in case of these viewers or other kind of vessels and so on, you want to hobble it out. Right. Right. And for doing that, they used what we call a tubular drill. Okay. So Hans, uh, Hansford, for instance, for uh, Chinese uh, workshops and so on, uh, took photos of in the 1930s of this kind of tool used. But today, of course, I, I can't show you that because we didn't replicate this kind of tool. But mm. for my known experiments, so Bronze Age, right. we replicated a kind of uh, tubular drill. Oh, okay. So you see, this is uh, hollowed out and so on. Okay. So it worked with a bow, which is this kind of thing. Okay. okay to put it in motion. Right. Okay. And then it, you're also using the abrasive as well, well on course, the surface. You have to. Right. Yeah, yeah. Because actually, all the tools, with the, the little fitting discs here, or even the tubular drill here, mm -hmm. did not actually do the work. Right. It, yeah. This is the abrasive. It was only used, you know, to move the abrasive mm -hmm. and to, to um, create a friction right. and then to apply it. Okay, so you're doing this with like a just a copper plumbing pipe then. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Perfect. Absolutely, and it works very well, you know, for action. Period. Yeah. With uh, hollow reed, for instance. Okay. Yeah, yeah, and, yeah, we did some tests. Oh, wow. Yeah, yeah, and it worked very well because this is always the abrasive which works. Yeah, this is right. not, you know. Right. And then, so you obtain this kind of yeah. cavity. Okay. Okay, so this, this was made by this uh, copper pipe. <laughs> mm. Okay. Mm. So you remove what we call a bore core. Okay. Which is right. the party which is inside yeah. you know, the drill, and you obtain that kind of thing. And this kind of thing, remember that, because when you are going to be in the VND, that's the we, bottles, right? Uh, sorry? That's that's what you get for the bottles? Or you uh, could oh, use a... Uh, yeah, but what is interesting about this kind of thing, well, here it's in limestone, but when you got it in rock crystal, mm. you have uh, a lot of little cylindrical flasks mm. made by the Fatimis yes. and older, you know, early Islamic production. And it's probably from that that they made then yeah. know, the tubular flask. So right. that's interesting. So there is no waste of material. Exactly. Always, exactly. you know, very clever. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that was something I was wondering about with the, the, the hollowing out, you know, if you're just making rock crystal grit or if you end up with something usable. You, of course, of course. Yeah, yeah, that's very clever. And uh, we know that they used, you know, this tubular drill because uh, at the bottom of some of the vessels mm. in the cavity, I mean, you have uh, rounded traces, okay. like you know, it was, it is a negative yeah. of the bottom of. Uh, right. You know. So. Uh, oh yeah. You yeah, see what I, can I see mean? See those yeah. there. Yeah. yeah. When you zoom in on those. Yeah. And you still have some abrasive, you know, uh, stuck right. inside. Yeah. Right. Mm. Very cool. Mm -hmm.